No power tools today, but just as important, I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. We have something that's not brand new. In fact, it's not even kind of close to new. It's Milwaukee's locking pliers. Now, sometimes I like to bring tools to the forefront that just need to be around the shop and things that you may or may not have and tools that we like to use around the shop. This is one of those, or these are some of those. So it's the 10-piece Milwaukee locking plier set, or otherwise vice grips. Yeah, we'll call them vice grips. We're not Milwaukee, right? And we're not vice grip. Uh, Irwin, I think, owns vice grip. Anyway, we're not vice grips and we're not Milwaukee, so we can call them vice grips because that's what everybody calls locking pliers. But anyway, the 10-piece locking pliers kit, we're going to take a deeper look at each one of these. Some of the features that Milwaukee has on these is unique to the Milwaukee brand, their torque lock setup. So we'll show you that up close as well as their max bite. Um, then we'll use it a little bit and kind of show you some of the functionality on some of these tools. And then we'll come back and talk about pricing for this kit as well as what type of warranty they have on it and what we thought of it. We've got the 10 piece Milwaukee locking plier set. Uh, model number or the part number is the 48-22-3690 if you want the kit. Here's a list of all the things. We'll, we'll actually look at that here in a moment. Now, the unique thing about the Milwaukee locking pliers is what they call their torque lock system. And that is the big, big red ring you see there on the end, which by the way, kind of has a multi-purpose, I was going to say dual function, but I would say multiple ways to do this. But basically you can clamp these down and then the hole in the back there, you can take your Milwaukee screwdriver. Only Milwaukee screwdrivers will work for this. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, so you can insert a screwdriver, insert something round cylindrical long and be able to add additional torque after you've clamped that down. So then you don't have to have that gorilla strength to lock this down. And also remember that when you tighten it down really tight, that rather than killing yourself to try to release it, go ahead and take your screwdriver and loosen that again, and then makes it really easy to open it. Now, you don't have to use a screwdriver. Cool thing is, it's nice and flat here. Take another set of the locking pliers or channel locks or what have you, put it on there, put your pliers on there and, and be able to clamp onto that and twist it that way as well. So that's their torque lock system. Now this is their 10 piece set. So what comes in the set is you get a five piece set of locking pliers and then you get a, did I say a five piece? a five inch set of locking pliers, and then you get some six inch uh, needle nose or long nose uh, locking pliers. And then we go into three seven inch. So we have the flat jaws and then two of the max bite. Now we'll talk about max bite here in one moment. So you get two of the seven inches there. I'm sorry, you get one max bite. And, and again, I'll go over this uh, specifically in one second and then a regular set. So you get the flat bills, the max bite, and then the regular set of jaws uh, in the seven inch version. And then we jump up to a nine inch version of, uh, of long nose or needle nose. And then these 10 inch in one of them is a max bite and one of them is the flat jaws. Um, so two 10 inchers in that. And then we get an 11 inch set of locking C-clamps and a six inch set of locking C-clamps. These come in very handy when you're doing any type of metal work really not just metal work, woodworking, any, any type of clamping where you need that space to be able to reach in and grab that versus just grabbing it right on the edge. Then these uh, C-clamp locking pliers come in very, very handy, but use it a ton in, in metal working, welding, things like that, fabrication. So let's take a closer look at the features on here of what we're talking about. Like we, we mentioned uh, max bite. Now we talked about the torque lock system where we can add that additional torque here. Uh, but the max bite you'll see here, so it says my max bike, and you can pretty much see what's going on. Um, here's a standard style uh, set of jaws here where you have some, somewhat of a cylindrical or arcing shape, but the teeth are pretty symmetrical. So in other words, the angle on each side are pretty much the same. Whereas on the max bite, you'll see that they're much like, like a set of adjustable pliers should be anyway, and that is where the teeth are angled in different directions. So you see here on the front side, the teeth are angled this way on the, and on the bottom side, they're angled this way. 
So in other words, I can apply my force this way and this is gonna to continually to bite into that material more and more as I add more pressure going this way, but going the reverse way, that's not gonna have that effect. So you have to understand of which way your jaws are pointing so you know which way to put the wrench. Again, the same way as you would have a set of, uh, of adjustable pliers would be the same way that you would apply pressure on this. So you're gonna apply pressure toward the locking side of this, not away from it. Now I've looked each of these over and they seem to be built very well. Uh, I'm pretty happy I'm not seeing any distortion when I really go to clamp down on it. That one is definitely has a little uh, side bite there, as you can see when I'm looking straight down on it. This bottom jaw is just over just a touch. That's the first I've seen. I can bring that back over and clamp down, but naturally it looks like that's off just a little bit. Could have been a manufacturing or uh, yeah, who knows. But anyway, I do have a little bit of a, a kick off there on that bottom jaw there, but easily straighten that out. But let's see if the smaller one has it as well. No, not quite as bad. There's a little bit, not really, not really any offset on that one. So that one's nice and clean and straightforward. But I've looked at these others of the regular locking pliers and they're all nice and straight, clamped down nice and straight. And even when I over torque them, they stay nice and straight as well. So I'd like to see that even with the, uh, with the C clamps there. And we'll show you that here in just one moment. I need a smaller screwdriver for that one. So let's clamp some stuff up and see what we think about the clamping force. So let's first take a look at the 10 inch max bite jaws here. So again, we have the, uh, basically the counteracting teeth on the front side here that are angled this way and the bottom side here that are angled this way. And then these teeth here and here are just pretty symmetrical from front to back. So just look like mountaintops. And so let's see what happens here. So I'm gonna loosely clamp uh, this on to this piece of pipe here. Now you can see that's not clamped tight at all. And if I go this way, basically I'm just turning it on that pipe. It's not doing anything. However, if I go this way, it's already starting to bite in and really starting to eat up that pipe, even though I don't have that tight whatsoever. You'll see here, now it's starting to really bite into that pipe right there. And you see how much it's actually eating at that pipe. Now that's the wrong way to do anything, I get it, but just showing you the difference in going the wrong way versus the right way when you're using a set of locking pliers or uh, even adjustable pliers with those angled teeth and using them the correct way. Now, if I really clamp this down, in fact, let's, let's leave it loose here and then we'll use our screwdriver and we'll clamp this thing down. Really getting a bite on this now. In fact, I may collapse that pipe. In fact, I believe that I am so you see the amount of torque I can apply. And I know this is not exactly thick wall pipe. I get it. At the same time, it's applying a lot more force than your typical off the shelf locking pliers for sure. And you see it's getting a good bite on that as well. Now your regular set of just contour jaws still will probably be able to provide some clamping force, but not as much on the being able to back off a fastener or something like that. So it will bite in and you see that I can get a good turn on that, but that's not going to do as well as on like the max bike pliers where you've got those directional jaws to aid in busting a, a fastener loose or uh, you know, holding it from rotation. So the cool thing about the locking C-clamp is that we get more reach or more capacity, if you will, uh, in reaching a clamping position. 
So take this piece of steel I have in the vise, and let's say that I needed to clamp this and wanted to weld it or clamp it in place to drill it, whatever. You know, even my biggest, you know, 10 inch pair of vice grips, I got no chance if this is the side I had to clamp from. However, something like C clamps, which you can get these in a lot deeper versions as well. But now, adjust these, clamp it down very easily. And then again, if I wanted to add some more pressure, I could crank that down with my screwdriver, no problem at all. And now I've got that clamped in place and you see I'm a good several inches from the edge of that steel. Now I can do my weld or I can drill my hole, whatever it is I need to do. So that's what those C-clamps are gonna add that additional um, reach, if you will, for, for clamping things into place. Very handy tools to have around the shop. In fact, I recommend having several. And then obviously this smaller C-clamp is gonna provide you the same thing. Just in a smaller form factor. Really cool little set of clamps there. Then obviously your long nose, your needle nose style uh, locking, locking pliers just gonna give you the ability to maybe reach in somewhere to be able to clamp something. So if you're needing to reach down into a hole or reach down into a slim area, now you can do so without having you know, limited reach of you know, just being able to go in so far. Now I can go in further with these, uh, with these locking pliers and be able to get whatever it is I need to fish something out or to grab um, what have you. And then if I'm, you know, if I'm even something smaller, I could go to my even smaller and then I'm really reaching in to grab those. So something else you get on some of these jaws. Uh, so see on the long nose as well as even the standard jaw uh, versions, they have little wire cutters built into them as well. So you need to cut some wire, whether it's electrical wire or some solid steel wire, you can do that right there in the jaws. Probably cut solid core better than, uh, than stranded for sure. Here's a nail here. And there we have it. So definitely gonna cut uh, nails, screws, anything you got like that. Wire, if you need to in a pinch. So you've got that right there. And able to cut those either solid pieces or stranded. I did notice something. Uh, most of these are made from chromoly, uh, the chromoly steel, as far as the at least the um, the jaws end. I did notice, however, on the C channels, it looks like chrome vanadium. That CRV should be chrome vanadium, which is most of your uh, combination wrenches are made out of that. So I believe chrome vanadium is a little bit harder of a steel. Um, so that's probably why these jaws are made of that. Although chrome molly is more of a, um, uh, it's going to have a longer, a longer life and will handle bending more than chrome vanadium will. So. Just wanted to point that out, chrome vanadium on the C, on the C, locking C pliers, uh, but on all the others, it looks like they are chrome molly, as you see here. Great products regardless, um, so just wanted to point that out. As we mentioned, this is nothing new. In fact, they've been out, I think, seven years. So Milwaukee released these seven years ago, so this is not anything brand new, but they are very functional locking pliers that we like to have around the shop. Everything from C-clamps when we're welding or fabricating and various other uh, projects or, or jobs as well uh, to your standard you know, needle nose or long nose locking pliers as well as standard locking pliers. Uh, just great to have. And many times when you get into a project, you need more than one. Many, 
many times, all the time. Seems like you need multiple sets, uh, just like kind of having clamps when you're woodworking. Same thing with clamps when you're doing metalworking or releasing fasteners or whatever it is that you're needing a locking plier for. Uh, anyway, so the part number on these is the 48-22-3690. That's the 10-piece set. Pricing on these is 150 bucks. So you're looking at a little more than 10 bucks, or I guess that would be $15 for each one of these. They're made very well, as we mentioned in the video, made out of all chrome moly or chrome vanadium. Uh, I mentioned on the C, C clamps here, these are chrome vanadium, which again, I believe is, if I remember correctly, my metallurgy, my extensive knowledge in metallurgy and metallurgy or whatever that is, um, is that chrome vanadium is a little harder. That's why your combination wrenches are made out of that, that but it also bends less. So the body of these are chrome moly and the C, the C clamps here are made of chrome vanadium, so that's gonna have a lot harder, it's gonna have less deflection in here, even out here on the ends, than what chromoly would have, but it's also a little less forgiving, where on the body of these, it will be more forgiving. So, made very well, and lifetime warranty on these. So, 150 bucks for the 10-piece set, and a lifetime warranty. Now, why do we recommend a 10-piece set? Because, you know what it's like. You get a little chintzy when you go in and buy a tool and you buy one set of, you know, nine inch or 10 inch uh, uh, vice grips or locking pliers. And the next thing you know that you need the long nose or you need the uh, locking C clamp. So being able to buy this whole set means that you're going to have it ready when you need it. So we would definitely recommend and you're going to get more money's worth as well buying it in a longer set. Cool torque lock technology, being able to clamp this down. You saw we pretty much flattened that piece of, uh, uh, of pipe, this piece of pipe here. Um, and I know it's not thick wall tubing at all, but still it kind of showed you the ability to, and I wasn't really putting a lot of pressure on that either with that screwdriver, but the amount of force that you can add to that, uh, to that jaw just by turning that. And let's face it, making it a lot easier than having to, you know, really grab it like a gorilla to clamp those down, as well as, as I mentioned, uh, releasing this first before you release it, and then you don't have that big popping effect where it feels like it's going to launch across the shop. So check these out from Milwaukee. Again, it's the 10-piece locking plier set. You can get it at Home Depot. I think Northern Tool has it. You can find it all over online. Uh, again, 150 bucks and lifetime warranty. Also, keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you don't mind, would you hit that like and subscribe button? but only if you liked our video. If you hated our video, by all means, give us that thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling.